What is going on guys, it's Ninja York here. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. And for this unboxing video, we're going to be opening up the Nintendo Switch. I've had a long time think about this. And I just finally decided, you know why? I'm going to buy the Switch. And I'm going to buy games with it. Which I did, and I got off Amazon there. Not telling what day, because of private reasons. Also got a gift card, which I'll show you guys later on after we unbox this unboxed this thing so right now let's just have a look at the cover right now it looks pretty good i gotta say um back of it eh, it's pretty much what's just showing its capabilities yeah that bit looks good um of course the nintendo logo because how can you not forget a nintendo logo logo without nintendo <laughs> but um otherwise i um I do have games that, that come with it, but however, for some reason, they haven't arrived yet, which, of course, once I, we finished unboxing this, then I'll actually, like, get gameplay and stuff from, like, the other, you know, and stuff that, that I'll be getting with the Switch, which I'll probably cut to, like, a few days later. But other than that, um, let's just get this box opening, shall we? Can't wait to open it. I have not touched this at all. Not even one bit out of, like, opening it. So it just literally opens like that. Wow. That's smart. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Hey, it's one of these joystick things. Uh, Joy-Cons. I don't know how you pronounce these. Wait, wait, what, what is this? Yeah, so, let's see. Ah, uh, to set it up, it's, it shows on there. Man, no, oh, oh man, this actually feels really nice. Just better than the one at the store. Yep, it's actually, man, this actually feels really nice. Um, and then of course, got the second one. Man, I actually do like the cover, the, the box it's coming with so far. And what is it? Um, <laughs> feels like playing two Wii remotes with joysticks. Oh my, this is the TV screen. No way, mate. Oh <laughs> my god, it looks like a mini TV screen from like the back of the car seat. But like, oh my god. Let's see what we got here. Um, oh man. Wait, the plug in. Wow. And look at that. The Nintendo Switch itself. Let's see if it comes with anything in here. Nope, not anything in here. No, no SD card. Alright, um, I'm thinking that's probably later on, but all these stuff, these are where to put the Switch stuff, so like, for example, I can, um, like that. Of course, I'm not going to place them all out yet, because, you know, why? Okay, get that out of the way. Cables, because, well, need HDMI cables. Um, of course, to, to get started, which we're not going to open those up. Um... Another one of these cables and stuff. Wow. <laughs> oh my. Look, just look at that. Looks like a brick. It looks like a Nintendo DS charger. Actually, does it work for the same thing? Uh, probably not. But, <laughs> I doubt it. But, um, let's see what we've got in here. Um, oh, it's this thing. Oh my god. Look at this. I could just do... I could do... Um, wait, can I get it on? Hold on a minute. Yep. And then... <laughs> can't wait to do this. Oh my. Oh yes! Yes! Finally. Oh man, look at that shine to it. Wow. Of course, the boring stuff. The, um... I have no clue what this is. Probably the sensor. I have no idea. But we'll find out later on. Um, and then, of course, I've got what is? Oh my! That's actually that that cover thing. Oh my god! Whoa! Look at that Nintendo shine to it. Holy crap! Wow! So if I do this, for example, if I do that. Um, how do I place this in? Um, I think this is meant to be like a cover thing. I'm not sure how this is correctly used, so 
I'm probably just going to take it out of here. So I'm very new to that. But I think it's just a cover, really. Or something to just pl to put it in. Let me know in the comments below, because I really have no clue about it. But I'm going to say I love this. But anyways, uh, let's see what we've got here. Power cable, stuff, scissors in case, which we didn't need to use at all, which was very nice, because usually stuff like this usually requires all these things, which you all know. But other than that, um, I'm going to cut the video right now until we get to finally get the games arrived, as well as, of course, setting up the Nintendo Switch itself and all that stuff. But other than that, guys, rather than me talking forever, we're going to cut the video straight to... Actually, wait a minute. One more thing before that, I'm going to show you guys the gift card thing, which I'll show you right now. Actually, I forgot one last thing before we go over to playing the games and all that and skipping the day. Um, I forgot that I had one of these in again. Another one of these. Um, still not sure what they are for. And, of course, the gift card, which I'll show you right now. But anyways, without any further said, let's just skip the day and go over to when I finally set everything up and start playing a game. Alright, we are finally back and we've got the games finally. We've also got two new controllers, which is really nice. Also got a charger, which is really nice. But um, right now we're going to be playing Smash Bros. Ultimate, we're going to be playing a match, and then of course talking about the console itself after that, because after all, that's the whole point of this video, is to, you know, give my thoughts on the console and stuff, right? So, let's play as someone new to the, new, as in, to this franchise today. Let's play Incineroar. I don't get what this character is useful besides just heavy, um, attacks and that, which I've used this character for. Oh, hey, it's Afterburner song. I don't know why it, that ability is so random. Actually, wait, never mind. It probably must be one of those things you go land properly. But, um, yes, um, as for the amiibos, um, they do work. Believe it or not, you just use the right side of the controller and you just touch it on the, um, joystick and it actually recognizes it. I'm not kidding, like, have a look at it for yourself, but man, it's just so good. And, <laughs> No more stupid gamepad thing that needs that square crap. So now you can actually use it off a joystick map. I never thought anyone would come up with that idea, but Dan Nintendo, you've done it again. You've definitely nailed it. But if there's one thing I am a lit I'm disappointed with is you gotta have this bloody membership-ish membership-like thing. Which really sucks. Oh my god, I failed that fast smash. But yeah, you gotta have a membership now to to go online, which really sucks. Because I mean, I already paid for Xbox Live membership. Or should I say, my parents kind of so far, or slash myself, depending on what happens. But um, yeah, it, it just really sucks. You have to pay for online now because before you used to never have to pay. What is this attack anyway? Yeah, this character, um, yeah. Sucks about the membership thing, but I'll have a think about it really before I make moves, you know what I mean? Oh my god. Does this character even have good recovery? Actually, I wonder if his recovery can be. Ah, actually, I think I've got an idea in my head. Oh no, 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 the time! Oh crap. Oh, damn, I. I forgot that there was that many seconds left. Well, anyways, I gotta say, Smash Ultimate, it's bloody amazing, man. And this is a fantastic game. And it has so many new features, it's not even funny. From a adventure mode, no, sorry, classic mode, to this new mode called Spirits, which is pretty much the campaign. Man, it's a lot of fun. But otherwise, I'm going to say, if you get the Switch, any day soon, recommend Smash Ultimate if you want to play your Nintendo characters and see them beating them, each other up and, you know, all that stuff. Or even just there to just 
play with friends or even just by yourself, this is definitely a great game to pick up any day soon. But other than that, without any further said, let's talk about the actual games themselves. So, anyway, I'm going to cut the video to when I, when I talk about the console itself as well too. Alright, we're back and it's time to give my thoughts and review on the um, console and games themselves, uh, of like the covers themselves. Um, Alright, so let's start off with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's cover. Definitely love that cover any day soon. The cover's just so nice. Definitely would give this cover a 10 any day soon. It just has that Smash Bros. feel to it. It's definitely the best cover I've got to see so far on the Switch. Definitely. <laughs> Great job, Master of Sakura Creative Smash. Um, then next is Super Mario Odyssey. Great cover, I've got to say. Um, the back one is pretty base. It's pretty basic, you ask me. About, like, um, let's see what the front cover is. R real yeah, it's alright. But, um, otherwise I'd give it a 9.9, .9, even though I'm not a fan of the, um, inside of it. But otherwise, the game itself actually looks not bad, as in the cartridge. Um, as for Super Mario Play, now, I like the cover of this one, <laughs> it suits the theme really nice. Back of it is pretty much what you expect from the game. Let me just get that footage, yep, that's better now. Um, as for the inside of it, eh, it's... Pretty much Mario Party, so of course I don't expect too much. But otherwise, I'd give it probably like an eight out of ten. But otherwise, now it's time to now it's time to talk about the controls themselves. Now the new ones I've got, they feel exactly the same as the other ones. What well, besides me dropping that? But um, but yeah. Otherwise, they feel exactly the same as the other ones. They're just different skins, really. Lucky don't rip anything about it. As in, like, they don't, like, rip the skin itself. It's really nice. Um, as for this charger, it's pretty obvious. It's the... When it's red, it's red. When it's green, it's green. Otherwise, I've got to say, it's a pretty good charger. And you can also feel a pro control... Ch pro charger. I mean, sorry. Pro controller on that. Sorry, but <laughs> I'm not the greatest to explain that. But, um... And, of course, the game... The game screen itself. Pretty easy of what to do when we put it on. I'm just going to move the camera over here so we don't get my face in there so then we just place it in here then it'll be green like that and then ta-da what do you know it's right here really nice i gotta say but overall let's see what the reviews controls are controllers i'd say they're really nice but however if there's only one real downside to them it would probably have to be when you're holding like this, as much as it's, it feels like something alright, like pressing these buttons and this, but the back bumpers and stuff feels very awkward just, you know, pressing like this while you're playing a game with like a one controller like thing, especially when you're playing Smash Bros, it's just awkward. And like trying to block and dodge while holding in this pose. But yeah, in the end of the day, I'm probably going to give it, in this position, I'll probably give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Still wish those bumpers weren't awkwardly annoying. So I've also don't wish those, but otherwise, they're still pretty good. Overall, at the end of the day, I would say holding the controls like this is probably a 9.5 to 10 together. By itself, it's probably a 9. The only thing I don't like is this little plus button that just feels so awkward. My spoon feels awkward. As for playing with that one, I'd probably give it a 9.7. The only thing is that it feels a little odd sometimes when it doesn't click in. These things, I'd probably give it 7.5. I do like them, and also don't, because they sometimes do feel like they work or not. TV gamepad, the Nintendo Switch um, TV thing itself, I'll probably give it a 9 out of 10. The only thing I don't like is when you turn the vibration off in a game, it still turns on for the game, the games, uh, the Switch pad itself, but otherwise... In the end of the day, they, they feel really nice, and they're definitely worth it. So yes, if you want to pick this up, you can. It's certainly really nice. The only thing that's annoying is the price of it. But otherwise, I heard bundles and stuff coming, so that's really nice. But other than that, um, I'm going to wrap this video up before this gets any longer. So if any further said, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Till then, have a great day. See you until my next video.